I mean, he a sugar daddy, okay? <laughs> inches, mama, inches, okay? BBO, <laughs> running it up together, going on shopping spree together, and just. <laughs> I got shot. Somebody invaded my house and shot me. I am Nicki Minaj. Cheers to me getting pregnant. Hey friends, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video, y'all. I'm so... <laughs> I'm so hungry, y'all. I'm so dang hungry. Like, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I don't care to do an intro. If you're new to my channel, come here. What's up? Hey, how you doing? If you're a returning supporter, I love you. I appreciate you. Whoop de woo. And then today is Saturday, January 14th. It's currently 9:28 p.m., y'all. And I'm just now eating. It's been a long day. Haven't had a chance to eat. This is literally my first time eating for the day y'all i got a good mukbang for y'all with the q a because y'all love that so and i got dessert today don't play don't play okay yeah let's talk about it okay so i got my milk as well to go with my cookies y'all i came to eat today i'm hungry all right so we not gonna hold it cut the chit chat and let's get straight into some questions I guess answer them while I think I should keep my glasses on. I'm gonna answer them while I eat. Y'all know the drill. So the first question said the perfect job or the perfect relationship? That's a really good question. Let me think about that. I right, should tell y'all what I'm eating too. So I got rice. Fried chicken with sweet chili sauce over it, beans, steak, and potatoes. So that's what I'm eating. Homemade, home cooked. Y'all want a plate? If y'all want a plate, comment down below. I'll send y'all one in the mail. Just DM me on Instagram or Snapchat. <laughs> Your address, and I'll send you a plate. But, anyways, it says the perfect job or the perfect relationship. I would take the job or I don't know the relationship wouldn't be bad because the perfect relationship means he would take care of you if you don't have a job so I guess I'll go with the relationship not the job because if the relationship is perfect that means he got shimani that means he a sugar daddy okay <laughs> okay that's what that means so I will take the perfect relationship. Next question. I'm gonna skip some of these questions because I've answered them before, like in previous videos. So it says, do you believe in karma? I do. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I do believe that what you put out is what you get back in. I do believe in I do believe that what you sow is what you're gonna reap. So yeah. Mm, this is hurting. I'm so hungry. Let's go I don't take my fire off. Mm. Mm. No, I'm gonna keep it on. There we go. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Anyways. Next question, it says, do you believe in love at first sight? Yes, I do. It's crazy, but I really do. I really feel like you can see somebody at first sight and fall in love with them. There's this Rod Wave song where he says, oh, it's no more, I mean, it's called Cold December. And that's what he said. He says he easily fall in love, which I believe that could be true. Like, as a person, you could easily just love people, like, naturally. So, and that too, he said he believed in love 
at first sight and I believe in it too. What's your favorite candle scent? I like um like tropical candle smells or vanilla or like a birthday cake candle smell. I don't like those harsh like candle smells. I don't. Would you have an Amer would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? American. Short hair or long hair? What y'all think? What y'all be seeing me wear in my videos? Inches, okay? Inches, mama, inches, okay? Long hair all day, every day, period. Do you wear makeup every day? Um, since YouTube, I would say, yeah. Prior to YouTube, no. Y'all want an explanation as to why? I feel like as an influencer, wearing makeup, getting dolled up, glammed up, it makes you want to work more. Like it motivates you and it kind of helps you to tap into your creativity because you want to be seen. So it pushes you to be creative, to think of content where you will let your audience see you. Are you a shopaholic? Um, I guess, yeah, if I like to spend money, I guess I will do. How many Instagram followers and pictures do you have? I currently have 1,600 Instagram followers. Like two months ago, I only had like 900. And then I started posting more on Instagram. And then my Instagram started like gaining a bunch of followers and stuff. So I slowed down with posting, which I should go back to, but that's fine. Y'all, this steak is so bomb. Like, I'm telling you, it's so good. I wish one day I could rent an Airbnb for my supporters and just cook for y'all. Like, I wish I could do that. Like, I don't know. I feel like cooking for people sometimes or just cooking is one of my love languages to people. Like, I know some people's love languages to people is, like, speaking nicely to them, talking nicely to them. Some people's love languages is, like, getting gifts for people and stuff like that. But I think one of my love languages deep down is making food for people. Oh, and then it also says how many pictures do you have on Instagram? So I used to have like two something and then I archived just a bunch of them. Like I did. I feel like as you grow when you evolve on social media, sometimes you archive your pics, sometimes you leave them up. But now I have 60 pictures on my IG. So excuse me. Mm. And this is, I forgot this juice, but I chose to drink juice today. Y'all know I keep my waters on dip. I was not in the mood for no water to go, <laughs> to go with this meal. So we am gonna scoot them back over there. Next question, how often do you cut your nails? Often, I say like at least every two weeks. I showed y'all. I told y'all in my um, what's your name video, like, I don't like my nails growing out. I just don't. I showed y'all in my my office tour video that I actually keep a nail clipper on my desk because, mm -mm. where they do that at? Them long, nasty, dirty, crusty nails. Like, mm -mm. now nah, don't get it twisted. I like getting my nails done and stuff like that, but. As far as like growing out my natural nails and stuff, mm -mm. what is your pet's name? I don't have a pet no more, but when I did, I should have put more food in this because I don't know who I was fooling. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll go get more food, but I think I'm gonna eat my cookies first and see how that fill me up, y'all. 
see how that fill me up. Um, okay, I'm gonna try still test. Have you done any cosmetic surgery? No, but I always say in another lifetime, I definitely would. Like my husband asked me one time, would I do like a BBL or <laughs> anything like that? He looked at me like I was crazy. I told him, yeah. Huh. But no, I've never done any cosmetic surgery. Proudest moment in high school? Graduating. Damn, I ain't drinking no juice. Cheers to another Mutt Bank Q&A. Cheers to more Mutt Bank Q&As. Would you consider yourself romantic? Honestly, no. Mm -mm, like, I would say that's one of my downsides growing up in the hood and listening to too much like rap music. Not romantic, hip guys. Mm -mm. What's in my purse? That's a good question. Lip gloss, keys, debit cards, a USB. And that's it. I don't carry a lot of stuff in my purse. I don't like all that carrying around bills, paperwork, all that garbage. Like, I don't do that. Like, mm -mm. Cause if you know me, you know I like to carry like medium to small size bags. I don't like big bags. I don't. So, it says, which fork do you like? I like basketball. I like watching basketball. Mm. What is your ultimate goal in life? Is to be the greatest version of myself and to help others do the same and inspire them to do the same. Dang, y'all, I cleaned that plate, child. But I'm about to bust these cookies down once I finish my juice. Um, it says, huh, pardon me, American Idol or Dancing with the Stars. I love dancing, so Dancing with the Stars is going to be fame or richness. I would say I'd rather be rich and not so much famous, but then I don't mind being famous because money could come with the fame. Like you could get famous, start a business, promote a product, and people could buy it and help you to get rich just because of your fame. Favorite board game, Monopoly. If you know, you know. What physical activity do you enjoy doing? Oh, uh, hmm. Making love. I'm gonna say it in the nicest way, but that's a physical activity that I love doing or that I enjoy doing. Um, what other languages do you speak? I speak Spanish and I speak Patois. Um, dang. I mean, it could be real too hard, but that's cool. What pisses you off? I don't really know. When, oh, this is what pisses me off. When people invalidate my feelings, that pisses me off. Like, I hate that. That like if I tell you I couldn't do something because of how I was feeling, and you try to disregard it, I don't like that. What? Age would you love to retire? It depends. From like corporate working a nine to five, I would say 30. So that's this year. From being a businesswoman, never. Like that's always been my dream. Um, are you afraid of small spaces? Yes, I do not like small spaces. Like claustrophobic. I don't like that. Cheers to answering more questions. Let's see. Is anyone in your family, my eyes are starting to hurt y'all. Is anyone in your family 
in the army. Mm hmm I have an uncle actually that used to be in the army and he died like not through the army but died as a soldier and I have a cousin as well she's also in the army it says have you ever had best friend drama no I'm not a confrontational person and majority of the time my best friends aren't confrontational so no Do you have any best friend traditions? I would say like getting each other gifts is like our best friend's tradition. Favorite memory together. So um, me and one of my best friends was talking about this the other day, y'all. Running it up together, going on shopping sprees together and just going wherever we want to eat and literally cashing out, like literally, like. We was reminiscing on that because she was telling me how she um, was at this restaurant that we was eating at one time and she just like remembered those times like, mm, like, yeah, I would say that's like my best memory, especially like when we really started touching money and we started shopping at like Sex Fifth, right? Or whatever it's called. Y'all know that store, Sex Fifth. I would say that's like my best memory because we went in there like we first started off going in there just trying on like expensive dresses and stuff like that and then eventually like we ended up like copping a few dresses from there so i would say that's like my favorite memory with her and let me see my other like best friend like she like my right hand my favorite memory with her is just us dying laughing like no matter where we are no matter what's going on like we literally the two of us just go in our own world and we be like dying laughing <laughs> because she's just hilarious so i would say that's like my favorite memory with her have you ever liked <laughs> have you ever liked the same person oh my god this is like tea i don't even i think my i think they know this but i don't know i would say yeah like <laughs> i'm not gonna say nothing more that's it let me just say yeah and end it right there nicest thing you've ever done for each other um i would say with one of my friends the one we got married like us supporting each other a hundred percent throughout our wedding i think that's like one of the nicest things we've done for each other and then my other friend i would say like being her being supportive to me like from a marriage standpoint and then me being supportive to her from like a mom standpoint where did you meet both of them met them in church Ooh, what was your first impression of your best friend I actually thought both of them was mean in the first place like my first impression one of them I actually thought she didn't like me but only to find out it's just she didn't know me so she walk around with the stank face sometimes but um yeah that was my first impression how long did it take for you to become friends um like best friends I would say like two years yeah like two years because when one of them like I don't know like she started when I saw her like being respectful of like certain boundaries like she literally stole my heart as my friend so that and then the other one I would say like years like a long long time because I had known her for a long time but we never kicked it we never hanged out and then we finally hung out and then this was like when I was 
maybe 19, 20, like super immature and I was still on the crazy side and she saw a certain side of me and we just connected ever since. So it took a while, but we, we friends for life. Uh -oh. Do you have any favorite song together? No, but I have a favorite genre of music for each friends or artist. So with one of my close friends, I mean, let me see. I have a friend that's old, one of my best friends that's older than me, one that's younger than me. One that's older than me, our favorite genre of music together is like R&B. We love R&B. My friend that's younger than me, I would say like we have great memories to Nicki Minaj's songs. So we connect there. So this part is supposed to be like a funny Q&A questions. So it says, if you won the lottery, what would you do? I would run away somewhere with my husband. That's what I would do. Like far away, I'd probably run away to like France or something. Just book a one-way flight, move there, and start like a new life. That's just me being honest. If you were the president of the world, what law would you approve? Unlimited money. I don't know if that's a law, but just unlimited money. It says, if you were offered to become a superhero, what would your power be? Just to be able to be invisible. Just go ghost sometimes. Mm. Sorry, y'all. I knew that was going to happen, too. Who would the love of your life be if you were, like, a homo? <laughs> myself i would duplicate myself and marry myself i just would can you solve a rubik's cube no oh this one is juicy y'all <laughs> that's actually why i picked this selection of questions it says what was your last dream about y'all y'all my last dream and i woke up kind of like nervous like it was weird um my last dream was that i got shot like somebody invaded my house and shot me and i had to run like i had to run and then i um ended up like borrowing like these people phone to call my mom and stuff like that and i literally i got shot like on the hip and i remember seeing like the bullet like piercing through my skin if that makes sense like literally i had this dream last night and it was wild um i don't know what it means maybe i need to look it up because i am like a dreamer i be having dreams and i be having to look them up sometimes because mm -mm, like mm -mm. but yeah that was the last dream i had it says can you juggle no have you ever been on tv like, the closest I've been on TV was when Obama came to um, my college, which is CCSU. And then I was in the background of the clip of him being there. That's the closest I've been. It says, how many pillows do you sleep with? I used to sleep with no pillows. Then when I got married, because when I was younger, pillow always ended up on the floor, so I never liked to sleep with pillow. Then... When I got married, my husband convinced me to sleep with a pillow, slept with one. Now I sleep with two pillows, and I don't like it. Have you ever been featured in the news? No. Oh, wait, yes. <laughs> now, not like by myself, but when I was in high school, we had protested for like some teachers and stuff, and it was on the news. Can you stand on one foot for an entire minute? If I'm holding on to something, yes. If I'm not holding on to something, no. 
Can you impersonate someone famous? I am Nicki Minaj. <laughs> That's as close as it gets. What's your full name and age? Full name is Christina Jean Marie Mora, and I'm 29 years old. Do you eat meat? Yes. What's your birthday? July 31st, 1993. Big Leo, not the little one. <laughs> what star sign are you? Um, I don't know. What's a star sign? Like, does that mean? Wait, let me look it up. Hold on. What's a star sign? Oh, a zodiac sign. <laughs> Hey, I just told y'all what zodiac sign I am. Big Leo. What's your favorite color? Pink. What's your lucky number? Seven. Where are you from? Kingston, Jamaica. Um. Hold on, y'all. What's your height? I'm five six. What's your shoe size? A nine. And women, a seven. And kids, like. So I buy my sneakers and kids, I always buy like a seven Y. What's your favorite public transportation? A airplane. Are you good at any skills? I'm really like computer savvy, so I just understand technology very easily. Are you a more artistic or mathematic person? I'm a mathematic person, y'all. I love finance, I love numbers. What's your favorite animal? A lion. What's the furthest? A lion and a cat. Like, just cats in general. It could be a lion, tiger, leopard. Like, any animal that's cat. -y. What's the furthest you've ever been from home? California, so across the country. What's your favorite holiday? My birthday. Where would your dream holiday be? Hold on. In like, I don't know. I say anywhere like Italy, France. Um, I don't know. Like I would want to spend Christmas in a cold, snowy place. I guess if that makes sense. What food do you love the most? I would say. Steak, Mexican food, seafood. Boom, there you go. Favorite alcohol drink? Um, I would say, I'm, let me think about this. I would just say I prefer white alcohol than dark alcohol. Favorite non-alcoholic drink? Water. Do you want kids? Yes. Of course, what you thought? Y'all might see me pop out with a bag. <laughs> I'm, I'm being for real though. Y'all might see me pop out pregnant this year. Like, don't be surprised, okay? <laughs> I know some of y'all not gonna take me serious. Hold on. Cheers to me getting pregnant. <laughs> In 2023, okay, big 2023. Cheers to me popping out with a belly, okay? Yeah, let's talk about it. Actually, that's been on my mind like lately though. I've been like planning like when I wanna get pregnant, depending on when I wanna have kids. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll be it for real though, like I'll be a dead serious y'all, y'all, I'll be it for real. I really been like thinking like, okay, I think I wanna have a summer baby, so I might get pregnant like around, <laughs> I might get pregnant like around September, October, cause it's nine months, so September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Yo, let's talk about it. <laughs> I know some of y'all watching this video, y'all like, she playing, she been saying that forever, but no, this time I'm dead ass, like, I'm dead ass. Okay, <laughs> okay, let me finish up these questions and then wrap up this video. I'm done with my cookies, y'all. 
Mm. I think I can put my glasses back on. Let me see how much time we got going. Oh yeah, we good on time, y'all. We good. We good. We good. We good. We good. Yeah. All right, back to the questions. Okay, are you good at any sport? Honestly, no. I don't know of a sport I'm good at. Like, I don't think I'm good at basketball. I don't think I'm good at so like. Mm -mm. I think like with sport, my biggest setback has been because I used to run track, and that's when I discovered like sports is not for me. Like, I be worried about looking cute. So, uh uh, like it's just not my thing. I like cheering for people though. Like I like rooting for them. But as far as like being good at a sport, no, ma'am. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? I'm an introvert and this is something like I've been thinking about. My mom is an extrovert, but I think my daddy was an introvert and I feel like that's where I got my introvert side from. My grandma also by my mom's side was an introvert. So sometimes I feel like I get my introverted traits from them, but sometimes I do low key wish I was extroverted. I genuinely do because my mom is extroverted my husband's extroverted my older brother is extroverted my two of my younger sisters are extroverted like I'm surrounded by a lot of extroverted people so I do like sometimes wish I was extroverted but I don't know I just God ain't give me that gift y'all <laughs> it says what's your best achievement i think one of my best achievements is graduating college in three years rather than four because it taught me that i can literally do anything that i set my mind to and anything that i apply myself to oh and the last question i think it's such a funny question um i gotta put my glasses on. <laughs> i gotta put my glasses on for this one so it says can you curl your tongue I don't think so. I don't think I've ever tried. Like, let me see. Mm. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> no, this could go so many ways. Let me just say no. I don't even want to try. Like, no. So, that's all the questions. Y'all love the Q&As. Y'all love the Mukbang Q&As. So, it's only right that I keep dropping them for y'all. I keep coming with them for y'all I feel like it helps me to grow as a person because as I told y'all like I don't really like opening up to people or it's not so much that I don't like opening up to people it's just like when I'm interacting with people I'm always asking them questions and I think them questions and I think I keep them on the surface a lot by doing that so by the time we done talking like they don't even get the chance to ask me any questions so I don't know. I guess this is like a good way to practice just like opening up more because yeah, I've been told that I hold back a lot, which I agree. Like I'm an introverted person. So I want to work on that. Like just being more open and expressing myself more. And I guess like allowing people to like ask me questions if that makes sense. But I just, I don't like being questioned. I just don't. I really don't but it's cool like it's cool I like this stuff so I appreciate y'all like y'all your girl ate today I had five cookies baby cleaned the whole plate cleaned it okay um cheers to me opening up more answering questions for y'all so the milk is done I gotta finish this juice Cause if not, it's gonna get poured down the sink. But um, what else we cheers into? Cheers to more mukbang Q and A's 2023. Cheers to me growing as a person and just learning to open up and let people in beyond the surface and just be more comfortable. Like I guess sharing certain things about myself. Like. <sighs> I don't know but i love y'all i appreciate y'all this is fun this is always like fun to me and interesting and therapeutic like it just always is for some reason so 
I don't know. I'm gonna probably drop this video this coming Friday. I like giving y'all month and Q&As on Fridays because Friday is like a fun type of day, fun type of vibe. I don't want to give y'all nothing too serious, nothing too motivational. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's Friday. Who trying to hear about that? You know, it's Friday. Like, we trying to leave work early. We trying to catch a vibe. We trying to have some fun. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? So, I like giving y'all these Q&As on Fridays. Um, It's been a minute since I've done a mukbang, so... Yeah, but enough of me rambling, enough of me talking. I'm just trying to finish this juice, and it's not working. Like, maybe it's not working. Um, but that's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Comment below what y'all thought about this Q and A. Y'all feel like I opened up some more? I think I did, cause I share stuff that I wouldn't be wanting to share. Like. Nobody never asked me them kind of questions. <laughs> Nobody never asked me those type of questions. So, yeah. But I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And to my amazing supporters, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching my Q&As because that makes me more motivated, more inspired to do them. And, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all. Not more, nothing less. Um, I will see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great. To be great. To be great.